Figure out how tiring it was because oh, oh my god. Anyway, what's good everyone? New Zealand is currently in a lockdown, which is why I was capo boarding in the first place. That and also it's a pretty crappy day. But if you don't remember, a few weeks ago Tech Deck sent me a bunch of ramps, which is actually what the camera is sitting on right now. <laughs> Tech Deck sent me all of these ramps. So today I want to try and make the ultimate Tech Deck skate park out of Tech Deck ramps. I've done this three times in the past, but Tech Deck keeps sending me more stuff, which means the skate parks will only get more and more ultimate, ultimate. until I have a whole ping pong stadium full of Tech Deck ramps. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Ramps, you're coming with me! No! I just want to say thank you to Tech Deck for sending me all of this stuff. The first time I made a Tech Deck skate park, I bought all the ramps myself. So it's just cool to see that Tech Deck is hooking it up. Because if I had to pay for all of this myself, I would be... I wouldn't actually be broke, but I really appreciate that Tech Deck sent me all the stuff. When you're when in you're lockdown, lockdown, you can't experience what nature has to offer. It really, it really just makes you appreciate all the little, little things you missed, missed before. before. You couldn't, you couldn't do, those do those things, things anymore, anymore. Like, like the smell the of the of fresh, fresh breeze. breeze. <sighs> Unboxing time! They sent me a bunch of duplicates of the same ramps. Which I'm actually pretty stoked about because that means I can put them all together and make something sick. Especially these bowl pieces. Since I have four of these, including the one right there, I should be able to make an actual bowl. Nigel Boostin. Look at all the tech decks that came with it. <laughs> Perfect to add to my ever growing collection. And that's not even counting all the ramps that I already have. So, this is gonna be a pretty wild tech deck park. But the cool thing about these new ones is that they have these little X marks which everything can kind of fit into, so you can customize the ramps way better than you could on the old Tech Deck ramps. Starting with the bowl, I want to try and make a bowl. Hell yeah, dude, look at this bowl. <laughs> like, that's pretty sick. Then there's this bank to wall ride. This is kind of in the back, so you can roll up, go into the bowl, do some stuff, come back out of the bowl. This is actually way more fun than it should be. It's like putting Lego together, but they're miniature skateboard ramps. Majority of the park's done, but there's still a bunch of areas which need filling in, so we need to break out ye old tech deck ramps. We've got this big brick bank, which is sick. Pyramid ramp. Probably throw this half pipe up in the mix somewhere. Even with those ramps, I still need some more to fill in different parts of the park, so we need to go down to the basement. I'm pretty sure the rest of the ramps are down here. I just have no idea where. Oh, never mind. That was pretty easy. They're in this box right here. I just finished setting up the park, and I gotta say, this is definitely my best tech deck park creation out of all of them. This one's only on one side of the ping pong table, and I think in the last two I filled up a full ping pong table. This one just feels right. And if a park feels right, it doesn't have to be giant. But in saying that, it's still pretty damn big. So, here it is, I'll give you the tour. Boom! Fingerboard skate park out of tech deck ramps 4.0. So I guess this park has two main sections in it. We got this whole section here, which is like the street section. We got this huge staircase over here with a double hub a gap and a construction zone because obviously the staircase isn't finished yet. Then moving down here we got this fire hydrant gap 
Just these tiny little kickers, which are actually surprisingly fun. This pyramid. Then what I think is probably my favorite section out of the whole park, this corner stair set section. On one side of it, we have a staircase and a bank with a hover in the middle. And the staircase with two hubbers and a rail in the middle, which is probably the most official looking thing that Tech Deck's ever made. Compared to old Tech Deck ramps, this thing's a lot bigger, which is good because Tech Deck ramps really needed to be bigger. And then we move on to the transition section. Starting off, we have this pyramid, which is also a lot bigger than normal Tech Deck ramps. Then after you hit this, we got a quarter pipe. So you can kind of do a whole line. You can hit the stairs, do something over this, hit the quarter pipe, come back. The skate park has that. Low. Then we have the most complex thing that I made in this pack, which is this bowl. What shape is that? It's like a... It's a pea! For pineapple. Then on the other side of this, we have some banks with a wall ride. Kinda epic. And on the other side, we got the brick banks. And that all leads into this big transition bank, which I installed the pool coping on. And there's a few other things, but that's pretty much the gist of it. This is the most real looking skate park I've made out of Tech Deck ramps. Like, if you were little, you could probably skate this if you were good. You know what, screw it, let's give it a go. I have a little secret which I haven't told you guys. I currently have my belt set to W for one bow, when it should be set to M for mini. Whoa. This is sick. That's the Tech Deck Skate Park. The fourth Tech Deck Skate Park. If you haven't seen the other ones, go check them out. The link's in the description. And let me know what one you think is the best, because I personally think that this one is the best. But, you know, 
you might have a different opinion. Once again, I also want to say a big thanks to Tech Deck for sending me all this stuff. All of their links will be in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want, and come back for the next video. Bye!